Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Anthur Dej. I am working as technical architect at Adobe and here I present day 5th of August lead code challenge. The problem that we have in today is combination sum 4. This problem is based on the concept of recursion plus memoization and I know most of the subscribers of Coding Decoded would be able to solve this problem by themselves. This is the power of consistency guys. This is the 858th video of Coding Decoded and I am super proud of the su success that we have made. To all those who are new, let's try and understand the question. The problem says we are given distinct n numbers in the form of an array and a target integer value. What we need to identify, we need to identify the number of possible combinations that add up to the target. And you're also told you can use the same number multiple times. So it's not like that, that the same number can be used only once, it can be utilized multiple times. What we need to identify, we need to identify the various combinations that get generated that sum up till four and here in this case the output comes as 7 and I will be talking about the algorithm by the presentation as I usually do so without further ado let's quickly hop on to it. Combination sum 4 lead code 377 as you know it's a medium level question however in case you still have any doubt understanding this question or if you want to ask anything from me in general please feel free to drop a message on the telegram group or the discord server of coding decoded both the links are stated in the description so do check this out. Now let's focus on to the same example that was specified in the question. We are given the target value as 4 and the numbers that are to be consumed is either 1, 2 and 3. So let's start the processing. Let's go in a recursive fashion and I'll talk about memoization later on but let's look at the recursive approach first. So we have the target, total target to be achieved as 4. So as you can see there are 3 numbers. So three, let's create 3 branches out of it. So the first branch would be using 1, the second branch would be using 2 and the third branch would be using 3. Moving ahead, let's check what is the remaining target value that we are looking for. Since we have consumed 1 unit from 1, so the remaining target value would be 3. For, with respect to after consuming 2, the remaining target value would be 2 and once we have consumed 3, the remaining target value would be 1. So let's continue doing the same thing across these 3 sub targets. So in the first go, what we are going to do, we will be consuming 1, 2 and 3. So let's write 1, 2 and 3 over here. Similarly, let's create 3 branches for this as well. So we will get 1, 2 and 3 over here. Similarly, let's create 3 branches for this as well. 1, 2 and 3. And let's compute the remaining target values that are going to be there. So after consuming 1 from 3, what do we get? we get the remaining target value as 2. After consuming 2 from 3, what do you get? You get 1. And after you consume 3 from 3, what do you get? You get 0. So as soon as you find 0, this is an interesting case because you eventually found a solution. So let me just mark zeros with an asterisk sign because you have identified one combination that leads up to a total sum of 4. 3 plus 1 gives you 4. Let's proceed further. Next we have 2 and 2 minus 1 gives you 1. So let's write 1 over here. 2 minus 2 gives you again 0. That means we have identified another case as well. So let me just highlight it with an asterisk sign. Again it's a successful case because 2 plus 2 gives you 4. Next we'll have 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So as soon as you see that the number is going in negative, you reject this entire uh, branch of the tree. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. That means we have successfully identified one possible path. So let me just write it with asterisk sign. And as you can see 3 plus 1 actually gives you 4. Next will be uh, 1 minus 2 gives you minus 1. So let's reject the entire branch. And next we'll have 1 minus 3 that gives you minus 2. Let's simply reject the entire branch. We'll not do any further processing on it. We still have numbers that are greater than 1 greater than 0 so we will continue the similar kind of an operation across these numbers so let's do that let's create three branches starting from 2 what do you get the first branch would be of using 1 the next branch will be using 2 the third branch will be using 3 so after consuming 1 what is the next target value the next target value is 1 what will be the next target value after consuming 2 it would be 0 that means we identified another possible case and under this what is the number of elements that we have added what are the elements that we have added 2 1 and 1. So 2, 1 and 1 gives you 4. Let's proceed ahead. 2 minus 3 gives you minus 1. So let's reject this entire uh, branch of the tree and here we successfully identified one path. 
uh, let's move on to the next one over here so let's use three numbers that we have in the input array uh, let's consume one from one what do you get you get zero so this is a, this makes another successful case and the, num the elements that sum up till four would be one two one so that's another path here you will get minus one and here you'll get minus two so you simply reject these up let's continue the process next we'll have one distribute getting distributed by one two and three so here you will see the sum gets updated to zero that makes up till a happy path happy case and for these two values it will go in negative so simply reject these up so in total i think we have iterated over all the cases and let's see how many such combinations we were able to identify let me just change the color of pen for better understanding and let's take green so the first path is this one 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 so this is the first path as i have just highlighted the other path is this one two one one so this is the other path let's proceed ahead next let's have a look at this one one two one so this is the third path next let's have a look at this one three one let's have a look at the next path so here it will be uh, you will use you have to consume one over here so this is the next path which is one one two so this is the next path another part would be this one two two and here would be the last path which is three one so in total how many paths have we identified one two three four five six seven if you carefully observe then you will see that we haven't used any memoization technique while iterating over this entire algorithm and we can drastically improve the time complexity by by implementing memoization we can use a map and that map will correspond to the key as your target value and the value as the number of ways in which the target can be generated that would drastically improve the overall time complexity of this algorithm to conclude it up let's quickly walk through the presentation section and finalize the algorithm so it's really simple guys it's not that tricky either so here i've created the map and the map would store the key as in the target value so key would be the target value and the value would be the combinations sum of the combination count this here i've created a helper method combination sum for helper if my map already contains the answer for this target value we simply return this up if my target value happens to be zero then i, I found one possible way if my target value goes negative i abort the process and return zero from it otherwise i apply recursion i have created a possible vari ways variable and i iterate over all the elements that i have in my nums array i recursively invoke combinations from helper passing nums and target minus el as the par parameter because this would be the next target value and out of all the possibilities that are generated i sum those in the possible value variable once i have calculated this value what do we do we simply put this value in the map and return the possible ways as the final answer so let's try this out it took 5.84 percent it took 8 milliseconds and it is 5.8 percent faster uh, this is the recursive approach guys on a similar line we can use the bottom up approach as well and we can solve it using dynamic programming bottom up approach technique so i'll leave it to you guys consider it as your homework to investigate on bottom up solution and in case you are interested in c plus plus solutions as well then subscribers of coding decoded regularly post solutions in various languages for example c plus plus java right now i am not filling this java uh, uh, solutions subscribers of coding decoded themselves raise the pr so far the pr count is approximately 680 658 and they have been doing it from months now so i'm highly glad it's helping a lot of developers out there for identifying various permutations of solution that exist for each and every question and uh, this uh, effort is much appreciated from my side over to you guys take care have a great day ahead